Afternoon ladies and gents, I hope everybody's okay um, and I hope you're all safe and you're all warm and cosied up. <laughs> um, just coming on to do this quick card with you. Now I have done this card before in the past um, but I'm going to show you it today in a different design. I'm just looking for the stamp set. called perennial birthday anyway <laughs> so it's the perennial birthday stamp set and you can see there all the stamps that you get in it and it does have 14 stamps okay so I just took a number of the stamps out and I used very best Fresh Frig, um, Wild Wasabi and Old Olaf, I think it was. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you how to do the insert for this card. Okay, so you take, this is an 8 by 8 piece of cardstock, this is our Whisper White. Um, you can use copier paper and whatever, thinner paper, it's entirely up to you but I would say that the inks would bleed on copier paper or thinner paper. Um, so that's why I've used our Whisper White. Now you're going to do all your stamping first, whatever you want to put on it. As you can see I've used the rose and the other little flower and the leaves and the berries and um, here's to celebrating you. I've stuck that in the middle. Okay, so you're going to take, once you've done all your stamping and you've let it dry um, completely before you go ahead and start all your folding, you're going to take one corner, you're going to have it facing you like that, okay, and you're going to take this corner and meet it up to that corner. And you're going to go along with your bone folder and just give that a good crease. Okay. Then you're going to go open it out and turn it the opposite corner. And you're going to do exactly the same. Okay. And give it a good foot crease with your bone folder. Then you're going to open it completely so that your writing is the right way up as you're looking at it. You're going to turn it over and you're going to fold it up that way. Okay, so now you should have it looking like that to you. Okay, then you're going to open it again, flip it back over so the writing is the right way up as you're looking at it, and you're just going to press in on these sides. Okay, and that's going to give you a triangle, and you're going to burnish them. Then you're going to take your corner pieces, these, and you're going to fold them over to the centre. And give that a burnish as well okay and you're going to do exactly the same with the other corner I'm just turning it round because it's easier for me <laughs> and you're going to burnish that as well and I'm trying not to drop me tools because I know you all go mad if the sounds too loud and you're going to do exactly the same on the other side okay Fold them in. Okay, so you should have what looks like that. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to open this out, unfold all them bits, open them out. This is why it's, it's really important to burnish them with your bone folder. 
Then what you're going to do with them corners that we've just folded, you're going to tuck them in. So you're going to do it on all four corners. And I'm doing it this way so you can see. And you're going to tuck them in. So you end up with something shaped like that. Okay, and you can give that a burnish as well. Okay, so top profile, it should look like that. Now you need to make sure you have your writing the right way up. <laughs> okay, then what you're going to do is I cut a 5x5 five five card base out of my Betty Burst. You can do it smaller, but as long as you can fit that inside with a bit of room then it's entirely up to you how big you do it. Okay, but I've done mine five by five. And you're gonna take your glue, and of course I'm using the Tombow. Do not go right up to the edges, as I always say to you, because you will get it seeping out the sides once you squash it down. So try and avoid that. and then try and get it as central as you can <laughs> and as straight as you possibly can okay that looks about it to me you can always put your DSP on the inside um, of your card if that helps <laughs> If you don't like the look of the bareness and I'll put more glue down this side again avoiding the edges okay and then you're just gonna fold your card over and squish it down <laughs> And just get that a couple of seconds just to grab. Okay, that should have grabbed. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and made my made my own DSP again, coordinating to the inside, and I'm just gonna stick that at the top there okay so just going to get me glue okay I'm just going to stick that to the top of my card and as you can see I have left a little border on the sides okay so there's the top of our card now I've also cut out and stamped a banner happy birthday and you know what I'm like, I ate anything straight so you can just take your bone folder and then put it down with a little in the middle <laughs> get some dimensionals just put one on either end because we want the center to pop up a little bit and again stab them in the middle make it easier for them 
just peel off. She says, when your fingers work, that is. <laughs> and I'm just going to stick that there. And there. Okay. And now I've got my glitter doodahs. <laughs> them things Enam enamel dots are they? glitter enamel dots? I don't know you'll get them in stamping up anyway <laughs> just pop my lid on ok and I'm going to take some of the these are the sweet sugar plum coloured ones I'll just show you just these ones these are sweet sugar plum Okay, so I'm just going to take a couple of them and we'll start off with a darker one. And I'm just going to put them randomly, not on every flower, just on a couple. Just in the centre on a couple of the flowers. So there's our card done. Okay, so there's the outside of the card. And then when you open it, you've got your pop-up. So that's essentially about your card. Oops. Will look like when the recipient opens it. As I say, you don't have to keep this amount of... I just done a 5x5. Five okay so there's our card for today hope you give it a go hope you'd enjoyed revisiting one of my old tutorials hope i explained it better and i hope you give it a go and i'll speak to you all soon so take care for now bye